Now you guys may have grown up with your Mayorios and Pokemans and Chris Bandicoots, but not all of us were so lucky. Some of us only got terrible licensed kids games, and we loved every minute of it. This is brilliant, but I like this. When I was a kid, Spongebob was the shit. So when five-year-old me went to my cousin's house and discovered he had a Spongebob game, you know I was hyped. The Spongebob movie game is the first game I remember playing, and you know what? I couldn't think of a better introduction to the world of gaming. Considering this is a licensed kids game from 2004, it's a surprisingly good platformer. The controls can be a little floaty at times, but that might be because my Xbox 360 controller is a piece of shit held together with duct tape and sheer force of will. Between Spongebob and Patrick, there are a lot of cool moves to mess around with and... Wait a minute... I thought I reviewed Sonic last month, and made this terrible joke a year ago. Smashing boxes is super satisfying. I don't know what it is about hunting down and destroying every single box that's so relaxing, but it just is. And one thing that's great about this game is smashing all the boxes and collecting every manliness point actually feels worthwhile. You can upgrade Spongebob and Patrick's movesets with upgrade points you get from collecting a certain amount of manliness points, which actually justifies them being there. One of my biggest issues with games like Crash, Spyro, and Sonic is that you just collect things for the sake of collecting them, but here you actually feel like you're accomplishing something for doing it. The vehicle controls are so immersive. It actually feels like driving a sandwich. Luckily, you don't need a license to drive a sandwich. The paddy wagon may handle like ass, but in fairness that is what makes driving sections fun. When you go off the edge of the road, the paddy wagon sounds like the psycho kid from the wild thornberries. It had to be pointed out to me, but now I can't unhear it. Am I dating myself by mentioning that show? Do people actually remember it? That was smashing! I will whine about one thing though. Who the hell decided inverted camera controls were the way to go? I, like all sane people, hate inverted controls. If you use inverted controls, you should be locked up and kept away from the rest of society for all of our safety. The game has a lot of extra content to kill time. All the extra challenges and stuff are pretty fun to mess around with. Some of them actually get pretty difficult towards the end as well. I ended up doing all the challenges for the first driving section just because that was the level I happened to be in when I loaded up the game and it kept throwing them at me. They only each take a few minutes and are a nice break from the game. Although, the thing I hate the most about the game is that you're forced to do some of these to progress. Even though they are fun, sometimes I just can't be fucked. There are also a lot of collectibles to find which I really like. Each one is hidden behind a challenge of some kind, be it a door you need to open or some platforming challenge you need to complete. The collectibles themselves are a mix of cool extras and crappy bonuses. The costumes and other extras that change the game are really cool to see, but then you have the fucking movie trailers. I wasn't gonna watch the Spongebob movie, but now that I've seen the trailer for the Spongebob movie in the Spongebob movie game, I'm convinced. The in-game cutscenes are fucking great. All the little intro animations for a new type of enemy are actually pretty funny and it's clear that actual effort went into them. The screenshots from the movie are a slightly different story. These are the most fucking low quality JPEGs they could have used. To prove my point, I'll use a quote I got from someone who played the game. These look like racist Discord memes. I keep expecting them to say something racist. Why didn't they just use clips from the actual movie? It's not like they couldn't do video at the time. They even already have clips from the movie in the game as extras. How is it they could add the trailer to the game, but not just use the actual clips for the cutscenes? Is it because they're trying not to spoil the movie? Well, bad news guys, you fucked up by making the game in the first place. In reality, it was probably so people didn't just play the game and not watch the movie, since the movie had only been out for a few months. But fuck you, that makes too much sense and I want to whine. But even if that is the reason, you still see exactly what the movie was through the JPEGs. Just worse. The music fucking slaps and it has absolutely no right to go this hard. This is a fucking early 2000s Spongebob game. Why are there guitar solos in my early 2000s Spongebob game? There is so much variety in each track and going through the entire soundtrack I could not find a single bad one. I'm just out here vibing to the depression theme. Not quite what I expected the soundtrack to depression to be, but alright. 
They even put Goofy Goober Rock in the game, and that is genuinely one of my favourite songs. It's fucking dumb, and I love it. One thing I really have to give the game props for is that every level has unique enemy designs. Even if they do reuse the actual enemies themselves, they get new models that are relevant to the level you're currently playing. It's these little unnecessary details that really make me love this game. They didn't have to create new enemy designs for each level, but they did anyway. Even some of the highest budget AAA games don't do that. This is a really good game, based on the greatest movie of all time. This game is my childhood and I'm glad to see that my love for it isn't just a mix of nostalgia and being a stupid kid when I first played it. Now we just need to get a remake just like Battle for Bikini Bottom. This game is better, so fucking do it. Hell, you can reuse like half the assets from Battle for Bikini Bottom rehydrated, so it wouldn't be that hard. Share this video and make the Spongebob movie game trend so it happens. Anyway, I'm off to go rewatch the Spongebob movie for the millionth time, so I'll see you guys later.